you are seeing in this image, this is dorsal aspect of the scapula and there is this ligament here bridging the suprascapular notch. This ligament is suprascapular ligament. There is suprascapular nerves and vessels. This is suprascapular artery and this one is suprascapular nerve. Suprascapular artery, A4 artery, A4 above. So can you appreciate here in this image that this suprascapular artery is running above to the ligament. N4 nerve, N4 niche. Niche means below. So suprascapular nerve will pass below to the suprascapular ligament. That's how both the nerves and vessels reach into the supraspinous fossa and innovate the muscle there. Then both the nerves and vessels, they will cross this ligament now. This ligament here is spinoglenoid ligament. Here both the nerves and vessels, they will pass below to this spinoglenoid ligament to reach the infraspinous fossa to innervate the muscle there. So in its course, suprascapular artery will provide nutritional branch to two bones. One is this branch to clavicle. This is a nutritional branch to clavicle. It also will provide a nutritional branch to scapula. Because scapula is not a long bone, it will have various small little branches given out from this artery to provide nutrition to scapula. So this is a nutritional branch to scapula. So remember both clavicle and scapula, the nutritional branches are being given out from suprascapular artery. There in this image you can see this one is suprascapular artery and it winds above to this ligament, suprascapular ligament which they have not shown here. Then passing down here in the supraspinous fossa, it gives a branch to supraspinatus muscle and also you can see it is giving a nutritional branch to scapula. Then it binds below to the spinoglenoid ligament and will reach infraspinatus to supply branches to the infraspinatus muscle. Here they have wrongly written it. This is not subscapular artery. They have wrongly written it. It is suprascapular artery. You can see here how it gives out these nutritional branches to the scapula. And as I told you, it's not a long bone, so it will have many small little nutritional branches perfusing the bulkiest portion of the bone and that is the glenoid process of the scapula. In its course, as I already told you, it will give a branch to clavicle also. This is a nutritional branch to clavicle. One more thing to add to your knowledge that they often ask is the direction of nutritional foramen in clavicle. So there you can see this is the medial end of clavicle that is the sternal end and this one is the lateral end of clavicle which is the acromial end. And you are seeing the direction of the nutritional foramen that has been pointed out by this needle that it is directed laterally. So the growing end is medial and this one is the growing end.